Hello again, YouTube, and I'm back uh, with another update video on my uh, my solar efforts. Um, as you know, I have a uh, a hybrid system, uh, a backup uh, with a grid with a couple of grid ties, and uh, this is in response to uh, a viewer's comment, a very good comment. Uh, he basically had a question, and you know, on my last video, I talked about you know the the cheap inverters that we can get off the cheap grid tie inverters that we can get off eBay. And the fact that, you know, the problem with them is they overheat, um, they're not certified, and there is a lot of risk associated with them. And not only that, they're not as efficient as they claim uh, on the documentation that comes with it. And, you know, one viewer posed a very, very good question. If they are such any, they are such inefficient, uh, I mean, if they're... If they're, you know, if they overheat, they cause a lot of problems and there's a lot of risk associated with using them, then why not basically buy a unit that actually is certified that, you know, that's not risky, that is sort of, you know, that, uh, <laughs> that is more efficient. And I, my response was, that's a very fair question. And I started thinking about it and I was like, you know what, that just makes too much sense. You know, we, we do live in a world where logic will not be tolerated in some places, but in this case, <laughs> logic will be tolerated. So, uh, you know, uh, so I said, you know, in this case, I said, you know, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is because I responded, hey, I'm doing some research in that area. And, and OK, I found a unit that I'm going to try. It's an APS unit. Um, it's a grid tie system. The model number is. Um, YC500A, you can see that, uh, YC500A, and here are the specs, if you can see it, it's kind of blurry, um, you won't be able to see it, but essentially you can go online and you can, you know, do, do a Google search and you can see the specs, um, you know, you can see some type of certification sticker there, and um, not only that, but it tells me that this particular unit conforms to the IEEE 1547 standard. Um, and APS, I guess it stands for uh, Alt Energy Power Systems, Inc. Um, this is a, you know, will produce uh, 240 volts out. Um, and it's rated at, uh, let's see, maximum output is 500 watts. And I got this, I guess I got it off of Amazon or somewhere. I, or, oh no, I'm sorry, I got it off eBay. And I bought this unit. It was a complete kit. I got a, a termination, a little plug there that comes with it. And I also got a uh, termination cable, um, you know, for standard 240 volts out. And, um, you know, I'm kind of, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. This particular unit actually will accept two, if you can see here, um, it accepts actually two uh, solar panels. Uh, according to the write-up, it's like uh, it'll accept two 310 volt solar panels, uh, but I have two 200. Uh, I'm sorry, two 310 watt solar panels, and I have two 200 watt solar panels, and they're the exact same. So I'm going to hook this unit up to both of them. I've, I've got to tie it into my uh, my overall systems. I got to do some re uh, you know readjusting, rearchitecting of my system. And I'll put it in play uh, to see what happens. Now, the other, my other grid ties, I'm not going to throw them away. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure they can still be of use um, because I've got some other things coming that I'm, I'm little, some other projects that I'm working on in the solar arena. But I'm looking forward to see how this baby operates. Um, as you can see, it's just kind of looking at it. I just got it um, from FedEx. And so um, it looks real sturdy. It's supposed to really be able to handle the hot weather. Um, so let's find out how it works out. But again, it just, you know, I got, re the reason I got this is because it was, you know, he asked a very good question. I mean, does it, doesn't it, I mean, essentially, does it not make more sense to, to get something that's, to spend a little bit extra, a little bit extra, to get something that you uh, that you know is going to work uh, <laughs> the way you expect, and you know you don't have to be you know worried about the thing overheating and stuff. And again, it made sense. This particular unit I got off eBay, I paid about three hundred and fifty-three bucks for the thing, 
And, um, you know, we say, well, that's 353 bucks, but this thing takes two solar modules. And so if you look at it, it's like, okay, if you spent, you know, a hundred bucks, 150 bucks for, you know, a couple of grid tie inverters that you trusted, cheap grid tie inverters that you trusted off of eBay, you're going to spend, you know, kind of around that, that, that amount. And for maybe a hundred bucks extra, you can get an actual certified one, um, you know, that people, you know, won't scream about. <laughs> so, you know, I don't care about the screaming part of it, but, uh, you know, hey, um, this is more efficient. Uh, you know, this is this will actually give me close to the power that I expect from my panels. So why not? Why not? Okay. Well, you know, YouTube, uh, you know, wish me good fortune and uh, we'll see what happens. All right. Thanks a lot.